So, today we're flying some drones to the moon so we can harvest it for all of its resources. Because I've already mined the Earth like 20 billion times. And now that the drones are here, we also have some starting resources so we can set up our base of operations around this elevator here. So the first thing we need to do is establish some power for ourselves. So we'll set up some solar panels, probably in the back here. A few of them in a line like so, and then a battery for the energy to be stored. And then we also have to make sure that they're all connected, wiring them all up in sequence to the battery. And then we have to make sure that it actually goes to the elevator. And before I forget, our drones do need power. So we are setting up a charging station as well, probably just right next to the elevator so they can go to it and then charge and then do all the drone things that drones do. And let's actually hook it up to the elevator so we have a free connection for our battery. This is a pretty good start above ground, but we should also get some research going before I forget. And first we're gonna start with regolith processing because I guess that's what moon rocks are called. And there's also some upgrades in the fundamental tree that are a little expensive. So let's stick with engineering and get some of the cheaper ones out of the way first. But we're done up on the surface, so we can actually go underground here and start to set up our mining operations. To begin that, we need a drone reconfiguration center like so. And so the drones will bring in resources from the shuttle that we just had down below ground. This thing also says we're wasting science points, but that's just because we're not using all of the ones that we have given to us. So we probably could start one of these things. Maybe some medium solar panels so we can get more energy. So, but that takes 35 days. But we do have the next line of things unlocked. So we can start some ore detectors, conveyor belts, and smelting furnaces. And then we'll move those ahead of this one, which I guess it can still do its thing because it's using a different research type. So that's cool, but now we have the drone configuration thing set up. So once we wire this, we can establish some drones to be mining. And we do have a lot that are available to us. Let's just convert five and then we can get them to work mining out the rock. We don't really have anywhere to mine exactly yet, so we're just going to get a bigger area available to us. Plus, it will give us a lot of regolith to begin with. And speaking of, we probably need somewhere for that all to be stored. So there's a bulk research storage here that we can set up somewhere. Not sure it really matters yet, so let's just go here. Sure. And the batteries are already halfway full. I say batteries, there's just one right now. We could set up another one. And we do need a lot of energy stored up because the nights on the moon are long. So maybe another one would be good? Probably. Mm -hmm. Let's get that going right next to the other one. And we do have to keep track of our starting resources because we need to get things set up before we go through them all. But we should be able to do that. There, now the drones have the resource thing set up. So we just go in there, select regolith, and then they'll start moving all the rubble that is lying around into the container. Beautiful. Cleaning up a lot of space. And then they've worked on the battery, so we have to make sure that's why, oops, I don't want to set up new things. Wire battery to this battery, and we should see a lot more storage capacity available to us, which I'm pretty sure we do. And thankfully we do still have like an entire day cycle to go through this, so we should be able to have full battery before nighttime. That's gonna be helpful. And what else is gonna be helpful is setting up one of these pressing modules so that we can convert regolith into something useful like concrete. And space is very limited right now, but I think we can just get it set up right here in line with one of the outputs of the of the storage. So that'll go there. And then we also need storage for the concrete to go to. So that can go over here. We should still have enough of that available to us. And now we've completed research for the ore detector. So we can actually start to find better materials. And we'll set that up just right here in the middle. Make sure everything is wired up as so. Thankfully, the elevator has 10 outputs. And now the storage is built here. So we set that to concrete. And we should start seeing this work pretty soon. I hope anyway. We do have a nice amount of power right now. Not nice. enough resources to start production. What do you mean? Oh, because it needs 10 to start working. I get it. But now the ore detector is built. So we can pick it and scan in any old direction. It does take up a lot of battery power to use, but that does mean we could scan out pretty far, but we don't need to right now. We'll start a large swath in this direction. Hopefully there's something out there. Ooh, hey, that's iron. Yeah, Beautiful. Baby. And then, okay, I should I do more. another scan? Let's do another scan in Research this complete. direction. I think we can afford that. Is there something over there? And no, there isn't. That's okay. We found iron, so we know where to go with the mining operation. And thankfully, we're already covering that. Good. And we have conveyors now. That means we can have the drones do less of the manual work. Set up a conveyor from here to there and from here to there. And now we're starting to automate. 
beautiful. The first little bit of bricks on the conveyor belt are going out there, but it is only one and there's a lot of regolith going in there. So we might need another one of these pretty soon. But one should hold us over for a little bit. There, now we're starting to expose the iron vein. So what we need next is a smelting furnace, which thankfully has less than a day to go there. And we are opening up some other researches here. A components factory and a rolling mill. Do I even have access to the things that would do that yet? Those are also very expensive on research and we're only getting so much a day. So it's good that we're starting to put more work towards a medium solar panel. But let's also try and get another thing going like some drone upgrades and to begin probably some excavation speed that sounds good and thankfully we do have more area that we're working with here so i like this but right now we only have single digits of materials right now especially steel steel goes into a lot of things thankfully it sounds like we just got the smelting furnace so we can start to turn some of the iron into good stuff. So we can set up one of those smelting furnaces over here next to the thing. But first I want to establish new storage for the iron oxide stuff, whatever you call it, right next to it here. And then the smelting furnace, I'm not honestly sure where to put it. I might be overthinking it, but I know I'm gonna need another one of these refinery places here. And I'm not too sure where it matters where we put things yet because we don't have a lot of buildings available to us right now or the space for it. So we're just gonna put this in right here. And then the production is going to be for steel. And then we are going to need the storage for steel to be right next to the concrete. I like the sound of that. But we are also running very short on resources. So we should probably hopefully focus some of the things like the smelting furnace that can hold the most priority. Thankfully though, it doesn't actually need steel to build. Whereas the rest of these actually do. Oh, and we're actually nearing the end of the first day on the moon or at least the daytime. So hopefully we have enough battery storage to, ugh, that got dark very quickly. But hopefully we have enough power to keep operations going. It looks like the drones actually got done with the mining. So we can assign some of them to do iron. And now the drones are building a smelting furnace. Good, so we're getting, so we're getting steel back as soon as this thing is powered. But it, oh, it's just inside of range. Good. So once we get enough of the iron in this thing, then we actually get three steel pumped out of it. I like that because this is one steel short and this over here is all the steel short, but it also doesn't have the most power to function. Okay, we're not using this right now, so let's actually turn it off. We're gonna save power going into the night and then we actually don't need power for this, I don't believe, because we're not configuring anything. So that should save us a little bit of power there. Ooh, okay, we do have some new things unlocked because we have the smelting furnace. This underground mining thing is going to help so we can Save on the drones doing that. Ooh, hard rock drilling. Or regolith refinery. I like the sound of that. And since we are starting to produce steel, I think this components factory is going to be very helpful. And let's just move the cheaper things further up the line. Just because that's getting done super fast. And just like that, we have it. But I don't think we're actually able to build it yet because that costs even more components that I don't really think we have. Especially steel. We are completely out of steel. Which would be nice if this thing was getting power, but... I think because we're in the night and on backup mode, then we don't have that right now. And we're only halfway research. through the night right now, but we can keep the research rolling at least and maybe start to get some more fundamental things researched. Like since we're having the drones mine oxides, then we're gonna need this. And this is actually cheaper than the solar panels. Let's move that up the line. Okay, we're down to 30% power, but it is almost done. So we just have to hold out a little bit longer and then we'll start getting more power. Any second now. And there it is, daylight. Oh good, the solar panels are turning into position. We got down to 20% power there. Those bigger solar panels are going to be a lot of help, but now the smelter is going. Yes. Honestly, you might just keep these turned off because we're not configuring any more drones right now. But also, why are we still losing power? Okay, we are starting to gain power now. Ooh, we got the, hold up. We got the second thing built. So we're starting to store that now. That's good. That means we can start to run conveyors, at least run the storage to the thing. And we're still waiting on steel to build this. But I guess we can set up a conveyor like that. So that can work really good there. And there's the steel going on the conveyor. Excellent. Okay, but there is an entire other tree of research that we don't have access to because this green research isn't available to us. So I think the next thing we need is going to be a landing platform. Scoot that ahead of everything else. And let's actually get that research right away. Oh, but it is 16 days out and this is almost done. Oh, we're actually starting to get some other materials mined up here. Like a whole bunch of purple stuff. That's silicon. I think over here is going to be my storage area as long as hopefully the conveyors can overlap. Ooh, they can't. That's gonna be risky. So once I have more resources, I'll redecorate down here. 
But we should also see where else we can mine because we are getting positive power income. So we'll turn this on and then scan. How about we scan behind the elevator? There might be something good back there. And no, there actually isn't. I'm wasting a lot of energy just trying to find stuff here. But I've already scanned in a few directions, so there should be something else. Okay, I guess not. That might be everything that's around this immediate area. So, tell you what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna dismantle this thing and get some resources back. That'll give us more to work with, and then we can reposition it to do other things. So now we have all of those, and okay, I don't want resources lying around. So, up on the surface, let's set up a general storage, just so we can get resources out of the way and clean this up a little better. It also lets us get this ship out of the way. There, now they're starting to load resources onto this thing. And eventually we are going to send resources to the surface. We're not spending all of our time underground here. But also our pressing module is not receiving any more resources on the inflow because we haven't mined anywhere. So maybe we just got to do some exploring on our own. I don't think there was a direction that we didn't scan, but let's just open up this area more. And... Honestly, just all directions because we do not have a lot of space right now. So let's just keep expanding out from the elevator. That should hold the most new things for us. And there they're getting to work. Good. And the drones are still offloading this shuttle here. I'm surprised how much there was on there that we didn't use yet. Oh, it looks like the drones are having some hard time over here with mining stuff because this is basalt. Basalt? Excavation requires hard rock drilling which is a thing in the research tree right here. So once this is done researching, then we can go ahead and add that to the list. But I also kind of want to see just how big this basalt area is. And for some reason, they're kind of just ignoring these little bits of rock here. Interesting. Just going to get rid of those right away. And there we have research available. So that is going to take quite a bit of time. And we do have almost full batteries. So I think we can shove off the solar panels for a little bit longer while we work on getting this landing platform. There, so now the concrete train is rolling again. I actually wonder if I can set up a second one just over here, which I can, but it is going to be very snug. I think we'll wait on that. I need a second smelter just because the amount of iron that we need is a lot more than the amount that we're producing right now. So that can go right next to it there. And then what we can do with the conveyors is have a branching path from this one to this one, I think. And then it can join on this track. That looks good there. Build that. And sure enough, it's splitting. Beautiful. But this thing also needs power. And I think that's, yeah, outside of the operating range here. So we're going to need a, a pylon right over here. And then we can hook it to this. And thankfully, those pylons build very quickly. Ooh, added a little bit more light down here too. I like that. Module needs repair. Why does this need repair? What's breaking about it? Not enough resources for repair. Of course. Thankfully, that's a very quick repair. Okay, but we are in nighttime now. Okay, thankfully, we are getting a lot of steel back. So let's set up some other storages for the other things that we're mining. And then we can figure out what to do with them from there. I think there was three other resources that we discovered. So we'll get, just get those in a line. And then let's see, one of them was silicon. And then one looked like this. And another looked like this. So now we're actually able to store some silicon. Good. But now we're actually running very low on power. So, okay, we're not using bricks right now. So let's actually just turn this off, I think. There, now we got the smelter going. Oh, but now we're actually out of titanium plates. But that is something we can set up a smelter to do. Or... Okay, that makes titanium rods, so we'll need the rolling mill to make them into plates. This landing pad is almost done, so once that is finished, then we can get the rolling mill. But that takes 30 days to research, oh goodness. We'll just finish up on some of these other factories. Good old daytime, and we, and we used less power that day because we weren't skidding any rock. But since we are branched out further, we probably could, as long as we have the materials to build this, which... Right now we do, but we can't do that too often because we don't have any way of producing those resources yet. So maybe we'll just focus on current operations and also turn this back on. Okay, but we do have the landing pad. So that's what this is. Ooh, and that's very cheap to build. So let's just get that going over here probably where we landed the other stuff. Go to landing spot as any, and we'll go ahead and set up another battery. And then I want to set up more solar panels so we can get more power, but we are about to get the medium ones which, oh, actually, those cost titanium plates. We don't have those. So let's stick with more of the smaller ones. A few of those built in sequence sounds good. And I didn't realize that was spaced out like that. That kind of annoys me. Ooh, it actually looks like we're running low on the iron oxide storage right now. 
but that's just because drones are busy building instead of running the resources there, which they're going to build this landing pad pretty quick, so I'm not too worried about that. And then these solar panels can sequence each other, kind of like a snake. Oh, and then nice. the battery there sounds good. And we have actually liquidated our concrete storage to do all this. That's why I need a new thing there, which I can build those, so I probably should. Doesn't matter how snug this is gonna be. We just, we need it. And then we'll just run a second conveyor from the storage to there, and then you can join up here. Sure. And we're already using half of our power connections, so this is a little sketchy because we don't have that much set up here. Ooh, there we have the landing pad. Nice. And I guess we didn't need that for this. I kind of forgot what the tutorial was saying, but now we can get some green signs points. 200 for 90 days. Sounds good. So now we can start to research in this tree if we had the space, but you know, we have one of these set up for future use. So there's that going for us. Ooh, and the third battery is up and more of the solar panels. So that's a huge power increase. We might need another battery, although I don't want to keep building batteries because it also bites into the concrete production. Well, something that we can do, so let's just do it very quickly. So now we should not have to worry about power throughout the night at all. Good. And the drones are still mining out this way, but actually not finding anything. That's interesting, but ooh, what do we just do? Oh, the medium solar panels, good. As it's nighttime, perfect timing. Okay, but we also still need those plates being made. So where's the rolling mill? Up here. Let's just scoot that up the line and get ahead of this just so we can get it done. And in the social tree, we can start to get the tender system done so we can get some contracts. There's also these living quarters that we can get, but that involves people. Ugh, drones are so much easier to manage. And there we have the tender system. So we can, ooh, we can sell resources or buy them if we need them. That sounds useful. And this is actually our first contract, a batch of silicon. I think we can do that. So they need 26 units or 45 units. We have 26, which is actually the stuff that we're using. So don't complete that yet, please. Okay, thankfully we have all the time in the world to do this. But are we able to get a third smelter in place? We can, we very much can. So let's just get that going right next to this one and then get a conveyor from there to here. I don't like the way this is spacing it out. So I'm just going to do it myself. There we go. That seems better. And thankfully we can set up the resource storage again over here. And to save one space, I want to hopefully get this connected here so those merge. And then from here, build a splitter to go from here to the silicon storage. And then I can configure this to be, instead of all resources, just the silicon. And then yeah, build it. So we should start seeing, yes, you'll go that way, good. And then this silicon. And oh, we actually have a few things that are breaking right now, why? Thankfully, they're very cheap to fix. And, ooh, turn a fun purple color. But now we're starting to produce silicon. Beautiful. We're gonna get that contract completed in no time. And we did not use a lot of power at all that night. So with that, we actually can cross the conveyor belts, which means that we could send in more of these things if we need to, but we actually don't. What I would like to do though is, ooh, there's more hard rock over here. How is that research doing? It's buried under everything else, but you know what? That's fine. Oh, there's actually more right there. So here, let's get one of those ore detectors built way out here so we can just scan more of the rock this way. And then obviously you connect it with power and thankfully it can reach with just one pylon. So now we can scan and hopefully find something. Oh, that actually does not use a lot of power at all anymore. I love that. That means we can scan really far out. Ooh, there's a lot of hard rock that direction, but ooh, aluminum. That's good to know, but that's a huge hard rock deposit there. Does it? Okay, it looks like it stops over there, but there's a silicon deposit. Ooh, that's gonna be so much better. I need drones out there like right away. Set a high priority area with this. Okay, so we almost have enough silicon to complete the contract. Okay, and now the quest is actually telling me to build an extractor, so I probably should do that. Do I have the resources to do that? I do, so we can get that going. Right over here, I think is best. So they'll get to work on that and ooh, complete a few researches. So we have the online market, so we can actually buy things that we need, which is good since we have hundreds of thousands of monies. Ooh, and now the rolling mill is done. Nice. Okay, we're actually completing a lot of research very quickly here. I love this. I don't think we need the components factory yet, but maybe we do. Either way, let's get some more things going. An underground conveyor? Oh, it frees up space. I love the sound of that. And here we can actually build an elevator for conveyor belts. That I don't think is needed right now because we're still working underground, but we can get an expedition control center going on research because I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's a whole lot of moon out there <laughs> and with a few points of interest. So demolish structure. Well, that sounds fun, but we're not there yet. Okay, we can connect to the extractor here now, which is good. 
And ooh, they expose the silicon vein. Yes. So we can actually build another one. And I'm not sure we actually need too much production over here, but we do need a chain of pylons. So we will get that going right out here and connect to it. All right, but I'm hearing a few things shut off here. So how are we doing on power? We're actually using a fair bit of it. Actually, not really. We're already halfway through the night and it's only halfway down. Yeah, we're gonna have power for a long time. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about that. But here's the market, so we can actually buy things. I'm not sure really how long it's gonna take to get here, but we are gonna need quite a few titanium plates. Let's just get a hundred of those. Oh, and the cargo pod's already ready? That is some expedited shipping there. I didn't think Amazon Prime would work on the moon, but now we're getting titanium plates. So we can actually build the rest of these storages finally. And we should be able to set up some better solar panels, which does take silicon. And okay, actually these things are bigger. So let's start with replacing just a few of these small sol solar panels, which is going to kill the power connection, but it's nighttime anyway, so it's not like the batteries are earning anything. So we'll get one of those going. Ooh, and it should be done just in time for daytime. There we go, and it's built, but it's also not deploying, probably because it's nighttime. And we did use a bit of silicon for that, so that upset our progress a little bit, but not too bad. We do have a bit more research available to us still, so we can start to process ice? Interesting. And might as well produce or research living cores as soon as I can. Oh, but look at the size of that solar panel. That is huge. So that should help our power production a great deal. Also, I would like these things to auto repair so I don't have to do that myself. And I guess I forgot to hook up a conveyor from here to the storage, but also hold up. You're producing regolith. Oh, I get it. I get it. So from this, what we need is one of the regolith refineries. So we can start to process the regolith from these things to make use out of them. And I guess that will just go here. So a conveyor will go right to there. And then from there, oh, we're actually producing slag if we do that. That's interesting. But okay, we also need the conveyor to go from here to another one. So we can set that refinery up here because the storage things are right over there. But also good, we can set up storages. Actually, they are set up. Nice. Ooh, objective achieved. I like the sound of that. I think that was for the refinery process. That's fine. Okay, but we are also short on power connections here because that's going to a lot of things. Well, we can cut the energy to the detector because we're not using that right now. So now that's powered, but we also are just running low on power for a lot of things or they're just splitting the power too much, which yeah, we are still running pretty low on power production. So I think it's time to replace more of these panels or maybe build before we replace. So we can get another one of those right here. Oh, that's why, because the batteries lost all connection to the solar panels, whoops. There we go. Glad I found that early in the day. <laughs> oh, that would have been awkward. But now we have the components factory, cool. And then we'll go through the process of replacing these solar panels because these medium solar panels are going to give us so much more power. And we can still space them out a little bit. Okay, so there we have the ice processing, which we don't really have any ice anywhere yet. But let's see, we still need the expedition control center, but that's buried behind a few things. Let's get this research going to increase the utility pull of oh, capabilities so we can get more connections. Okay, so now we actually are producing iron oxide, which is good, but also some slag. I'm not sure what to do with slag yet, but let's get a conveyor from the main output to the storage, which this would actually be a good time for those underground conveyors. And now we have this refinery producing silicon. Excellent. Can this actually go in and out i don't think it can anymore but it can go in over here that should work fine at least this one doesn't have to cross any conveyors so i'm okay with having a long one here right now and then of course we need a conveyor to go from here to this one because yeah this regolith here is the most rich in silicon just like how this one is mostly iron a nice amount of iron at that and the drones are just delivering the iron oxide to the storage anyway that's fine hey and there we actually have living quarters so we could set that up and start to hire some colonists but we don't have any sort of life support systems right now but here let's keep the social sciences rolling by just, I don't know, picking a random one. So it's being used. Ooh, hey, we're actually full on power. Amazing. That means we can hook up this thing again and scan some more areas. So there's the aluminum that was way out there. Is there anything past the iron? Some more hard rock. Okay, nothing there. Scan more this way. Way this way, but it also narrows the cone. So, ooh, silicon way out there. Hey, we're finding stuff. And I'm probably gonna get carried away with this, but I need to know where things are. And, ooh, more iron there. Nice. Okay, we have a backup vein in case that one goes empty, which is going to be a while because there's still 27,000 units. 
I think that's the current number. Maybe, but it's still pretty rich in a lot of things. So we can still use it. And we're still using this. And the silicon is going through a beautiful loop like this. Because we are actually deadly low on silicon. Since I built a lot of things. Whoopsies. It's a good thing that contract was indefinite on timing. But now there is still a whole lot of slag. And thankfully, there's a lot of storage for that. But I should probably figure out what to do with slag. Ooh, so we can research a smart concrete factory that uses silicon and slag to produce concrete instead of regolith that might be a better thing because oh we're actually bone dry on regolith time to start mining some more areas and let's send the drones to extract the ore veins right away and honestly just expand our area so we can build more things might as well just open up all the areas that we have access to and we can set some of the hard rock for mining because they'll be able to do that eventually oh yes there it is hard rock drilling now they're actually extracting this stuff and i have no idea what that is is it something that we can store i hope it's something that we can store let's set up a storage over here and then maybe see that so we can yes we can rare earth elements Ooh, that's gonna be fun but what i'm still wondering about is there's not enough power to fund these things all the time which oh we're also short on iron oxides probably just because we don't have a conveyor going there yet do we have those underground conveyors yet? Not yet. That takes a lot less of the blue research than this, so we can actually get that done sooner. And also, it's building up there because the drones are busy building things and running the regolith to storage. Which, where is the smart concrete factory? There's a rare minerals refinery there. There it is. Ah, so there is automatic repair. How did I not see this? Well, I've also got like 50 things that I'm trying to research right now, so, I, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Oh, wow, that's a huge rare mineral vein right there. And there was all this over here. Ooh, so we do have this iron vein available here. Nice. And there goes the last little bit of silicon that we need for the contract being delivered right into storage. And there it is, yes. All right, so now we can finally return back to here and then send resources. Send all the silicon that we can because it needs it. Send. So here comes the cargo shuttle to carry it all. And the drones are already bringing it to the shuttle. I love that. Such a clean system. And you know what? I should probably set up a storage thing for the slag that is being made. So that can go there. And this should be the last little bits of silicon that we need. And the cargo ship gets sent away. Yes. And that's a completed contract, which gave us a little bit of money. Beautiful. And that means we have more contracts available to us, ooh, which are also indefinite. I like that. And it's for steel. We might have enough of that already. Oh yeah, we definitely have enough. Send resources there. So we have a pretty good system of completing contracts. And ooh, look at the rewards it gave us. Relations, reputation, and some engineering points. Beautiful. Which we're going to need to do quite a bit because these are... We have them for a lot of days but they are still temporary oh yes and we have a good regular supply again and there's also bits of rock that are left behind i don't know why they just didn't make it into the brush or something and the contract is completed already and that gave us way better rewards i love it so much is there another one that we can do nope not quite yet that's okay by me because i need resources for myself but we finally have the underground conveyors oh yes that's what i was waiting for so we can we can trim a lot of stuff here but first we can set up one right here to go straight from the iron thing to here and then we need another one to go to the storage of it which is right here and that can go on the back side i think i believe that's how that works oh in a straight line oh i see i see okay let's see for those we can set that up here if we dismantle these conveyors but we can get one of those on the silicon one right here so we can do this oh that distance actually isn't that great i wonder if there's an upgrade for that that i can get oh wait this guy's signed a few contracts on our behalf okay that's so nice of you so we need 100 days to complete this one which is silicon and concrete okay we do have production on that going oh it's in a few process it's in a few steps okay well we can send concrete at least because we have a lot of that is it gonna like me if i only send one thing at a time i think it'll be okay because we can at least start the process rolling there let's see i was gonna check if the conveyor had upgrades no it just goes straight to the rolling mill apparently all right but that will be good for crossing the system of conveyors that we have so we're still going to okay let's just pause and redecorate the conveyors here so we can dismantle these ones since we're going to start from this one instead to go right to there and then that will free up getting the conveyor straight to here that works and then a regular conveyor can run from here to here and then from this to the storage 
Yes! And then it should hopefully work. Okay, but we also need a system for the slag to get to its thing. And this can pass under modules, so how should we do that? I think we can do that if we do a splitter here to get to the other side of this. So we start that like that, and then make sure that this is just slag. And then there's still this conveyor here that we need to work on, which... I forgot to set up an exit for, but I think what we can do there is we just continue it like that, which lets this conveyor pass through, and then this one's a slag. So we bring it directly to here, and then we start it going underground to the other side here, and then that connects right to there. I think that's gonna work. Okay, we have iron going out of there, and to- Oh, a lot of iron out of there. That was not moving at all. Also a lot of slag, but it should pass calmly through this system, and then out the other side. That's working. And then it goes underground. And then it comes up here into the storage. Yes! And then the- Whoa. Where'd that iron go? I don't know why the iron did that. But now we have slag going to storage. Yes! Or the iron is on the track. Okay, hold on. Need this little conveyor to drop resource. Or this one to drop resource. Just to clear it up. Okay, that- that fixed it. Yes! Slag is going to storage beautifully. And the best- Okay, hold up. Hold up, I forgot about this conveyor here. Need that to connect. And then it can send the silicon, but we can also send the slag to join with this conveyor here because it's all going to the same spot. Oh, yes. Okay, so she's upset about the guy doing his own liberties. Ensure deliveries are on time. Yep, we're gonna do that because now, thankfully, we can resume silicon production. And I think for this also, we can prioritize the silicon production so that should get power all the time. I hope, because that is also a lot of silicon going there. Which also means that we need to prioritize this extractor here and this refinery here. And we and what we can also do is speed up the refinery process or the extraction process. Either one, I don't think it matters. You know what? Why not both? Okay, so we have roughly half of the silicon that we need and so many days to spare. We got this. Okay, but there's a stray iron that still gets sent on the slag belt sometimes. I'm not sure why that is, but it really holds things up. It's rude. And why does iron keep getting through there? I'm not too sure what does that. I guess that's a matter of the efficiency. Ooh, we have the expedition center. Nice. So we can come back up to the surface. Let's see, logistics? Yeah, expedition. That needs so many resources. I'm not building that yet. I have an order to complete. I am glad this thing produces three silicon per cycle, but I do wonder about setting up another one of these silicon refineries that might be a problem i just leave for future me and now we're gonna have enough silicon going into the thing yes we can complete this contract send all of it making very good time on these contracts okay but there are some other facilities i need to set up down here like some more smelting furnaces that can produce titanium which that storage is over there i would like everything going in a line but there's a whole lot of conveyor figuring out that I need to do yet. So maybe we'll just have some of that production going this way. But also free up the space over here, which thankfully the drones are doing now. Hey, we completed the contract. Yes. And we have better utility poles, so they have better connections. Nice. Okay, was there another contract I needed to do? There isn't, but there's a lot that are available. So what even is that? I have no idea, but it seems we've opened up a whole lot of contracts to do. And there's a bit more logistics that... I would need to do to figure everything out to fit everything in the way that I like. So I think this is a good point to end the video. We have a beautiful production network set up as, okay, there, except for all the slag that gets dumped in here. Gross. That is, that's a whole mess right there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna end the video there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of The Crust. I've been looking forward to this game for a while and there's a whole lot that we can do with it. So if you wanna see more of this game, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And I want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donamoto, Devion X, Lucas, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, DeGarity, Sands, V, Isaac, Killer Squad, Mousy Mouse, and Nicholas.